Hello there. Who would like to see the second part of my shopping fabric pattern haul from last weekend? Well, have I got a treat for you? No, <laughs> just joking. Well, not joking entirely because I do have quite a bit of stuff around me, as you can see, because I ended up shopping after my last Friday, Friday sews of last week. Um, as you can see, I'm back at home, uh, but this week has been very busy, so I haven't gotten a lot of sewing done still, and I missed Fat Friday sews this week. Only had time to sew up one blouse, and that blouse is for the Battle of the Blouses. I got one done, one, and I love it. It is so pretty. It is gorgeous. I put wore it right the next day after I got it done, but um, I don't want to show that to anybody. So I thought if you were interested, I would take you along and show you all the different things that I have gotten um, after the last, last Friday. Um, on Saturday, the concert was not until the, um, it was not until the in, uh, like three o'clock. So I had basically all day that I needed to entertain myself. The things that I wanted to do that did not entail shopping, um, I wasn't able to do because they were not open. Um, UNL, the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, has a like a textiles, um, costume, sewing kind of department. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but they also have a museum and I was hoping that I might get to go see some historical clothing, but no, not it's not open till the 26th. So I had to go shopping. I also got I had ordered some things from Fabric Mart. Those came in on Saturday. So when I got home, I got to open up that package. And I also received last week, during the week, um, some patterns that I had sent to PDF Plotting. So I thought maybe we'd start there and then move our way through the rest of the, the fun stuff. So um, the PDF Plotting patterns, one was for the Love Notions, and I'll put pictures um, so that you can see what the patterns look like. One was for the Love Notions Key Pants. I think that's how you say that. I've never, it's C-A-Y-E. And um, they're very cute. They have an elastic waistband in the back, but it's a normal waistband in the front, so nobody knows that you're comfortable. <laughs> and they have um, an option for a tulip, uh, tulip pant leg, which is just cute. And so, um, I got that. I also got the willow top, willow wrap top, which um, I have seen different people on Instagram and on YouTube um, have made that up and it's so flattering. And so I thought I'd like to give that a try. The third one, the third pattern is for um, the Ellie and Mac wrapped in love dress and it's so cute. So in case somebody who is watching this video has never ordered their digital patterns on like a PDF plotting, the P PDF plotting website, or uh, there's lots of different websites, I thought I would just show you real quick how they come. And it's just in a little roll. And then they're just in a nice little roll, whoop, like this. And there's the pattern. It's really easy to order off the website. This is the summer key pants. Um, right there. I, after I had printed a digital pattern for a cape, my first probably um, digital pattern was for a cape and I just printed that out at my you know, regular printer and then ended up taping 82 pieces of paper together. And I thought, you know, the, the, not worth it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. And seriously, um, my all these three patterns were like $12 to print. So, um, and you know, it's a good investment. I figure my time is worth that. The reason I ordered any fabric from Fabric Mart was because I, um, my, family, my husband and my youngest son would want to have the pants and I'm going to just put down here what the um, what the pattern is and who the pattern designer is. I got Pontinet though for that and 
th that's why I went on Fabric Mart was to find some Ponty Knit. They had it, that was on sale. I, oh, let me see if I can find the, I mean, it was like $5 a yard and it's nice. I, I like Fabric Mart fabrics and this is such a mess right now. I don't know, it was around five, six dollars a yard. But you can see, you know, it's a pretty, pretty thick and it doesn't, I mean, when you stretch it, you can kind of see that way, but it's never gonna be stretched that much. Um, I'm looking forward to um, making those pants for them. That was the first reason. Then while I was looking for the knit, I found this. And this is a white chocolate nylon lycra knit. And I saw the nylon and I saw the lycra and I thought, you know what, that might be good. I'm mean, like, that sounds like what they said to make slips out of. So I bought a lot of it and then it got here and I'm like, well, maybe that's not <laughs> what you use to make slips out of. So if you are familiar and can tell me, do you think that this would make a good slip? Um, it's stretchy, but you know, so are slips. And it's slippy, and it's more slippy than that satin that I got, the polyester satin. And I like that it's nylon because it'll be more breathable than the polyester. Um, knit a pretty knit to do well actually this one for the black history month pattern designers challenge and i saw this knit and it said it was a double knit and on the back of the pattern it says double knit and so i i bought enough to do this pattern but when it got here when i saw it last week i was like you know what that's awfully thin I mean, but you got to see how beautiful it is. I'm not like, I'm, I'm actually happy not to use it for the sweatshirt because then I can make it for, like I can have the cool sweatshirt and then I can also have a really pretty dress or something like that. Cause I have two and a half yards and as a knit dress, I think it will be plenty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at it, it's so, so pretty. I am in, in love truly with this fabric. It's just, I love the colors. I, it's kind of got a shiny sheen to it and it's so soft. So I don't normally, I try to do natural fibers, you know, um, but this was so pretty. <laughs> I was just, I really wanted it. So this will be my dress that will last forever because it's polyester, but I went to Hobby Lobby. I had so much fun and I saw the new look book and I was like there's a book here and the price at Hobby Lobby is only like 50 cents more than the price at Joann's so I sat down and I just looked through the book from one cover to the other and um, found some patterns so I found I was looking specifically for knits right well I didn't find that many knit patterns it's hard to find, I mean, they're all kind of basic. I did find this nice, it's new look 6381. It is uh, pants and shorts, and then two styles of um, skirts, long skirts, A-line, but a little fuller than the ones that I've been seeing. And then on top of that, it's a nice wide waist, wide waist band, and maybe, Maybe I'll do that with the, the pretty fabric, the pretty knit fabric, the double knit that I just showed you for 60 inches. Nope, that's C. Two and a half yards of 60 inch fabric to do either the A, the, what the heck? <laughs> a or the B. So um, that's just the right amount and that would be a lovely skirt to have forever and ever. I might do that. Hmm, boy, now I need to. Anyway, so now the wheels are spinning. Um, I also found this pattern. It is 
New Look 6086. The reason I got this is because there's the camisole, then there's a, I don't know, it's kind of like a, I don't know what you'd call that, tank top? And then there's this pattern that goes over the camisole. And when I did one of my thriftings um, a while back, I think it was this summer, I found um, a lot of uh, matching fabric where there was a sheer fabric, most likely a chiffon, and then um, a matching satiny type fabric that would go under it. And I was thinking skirts, but then I saw this and I was like, this is perfect. And then of course there's the tunics um, here as well to make. So I got this one and then I saw this one and it was so cute. I could not resist. I was like, you don't need that, but I got it anyway. And it's New Look 6704. And I love the shirt. It's very similar to the shirts I'm making though. So I don't know how soon or how often or if I'll even make it. It does have kind of a slightly different color though. Um, the Simplicity shirt has a, a, a collar. The um, Garibaldi shirt just has a neckband. And this, this is just a little bit different. It's kind of cute. And it's just a throw on type thing, so. And then the pants. Can you see those pants? I love these pants. And they got the little button and cropped and I could use them in the summertime. Um, I'm going to be going to the office now twice twice a week. On Tuesdays and Thursdays I have to work at the office instead of just at my home. So now I need to be thinking about what clothes am I going to wear because I've been wearing my sweatpants <laughs> at home. Huh? Well, who's going to see me, right? So I'm trying to think ahead to, um, you know, being, being in there a little bit more, having people look at me and, you know, have a professional appearance. So that's why I got those. And then um, I'm going to show you, after I had gotten everything, I'm going to show you this fabric first. Um, I was leaving and I found this cute cotton fabric with the dinosaurs and the leaves. And it is a nice fabric. It's nice and thick. I mean, it's just 100% cotton. And um, I texted a picture picture to my youngest son and said, hey, is this something you'd like? And he said, yes. So I got it and I'm excited. I'm going to make him a shirt. I don't know what kind of shirt. We'll get to that. Um, obviously, I have a couple of months before I need to really get into it. Then I got um, this new look 68. 89. I want to make this one. Is that not pretty? I love with the little but the beads on the shoulders. So I've been seeing everybody talking about slip dresses and I definitely was thinking, well, if I have this fabric for making slips, I, I need to do something with that satin. So again, I'm thinking, hmm, can I maybe dye it and then um, make this dress, make this dress out of it, excuse me. There's also these other, you know, shorter versions. Um, I just, I like the longer. Uh, but this, this actually, this, this silhouette <laughs> where it's just the, it's not cinched on the, with the bead um, in the longer version would be a really nice like pinafore type, um, type dress. So lots of options for summer. And then because I, they were having fabric 40% off, I went ahead and, and I needed a mock-up. But this was like $4 a yard and it's so cute. It is a nylon crepe. And um, I just love the patchwork. Let me see if I can pull it back so you can see. It's just so cute. And as that dress, think it'll be just adorable. So I couldn't resist. I, I did it. I bought more fabric and I also got some thread to match because I knew I did not have the right thread. So this is going to go up at the top of my list for summer, summer clothing. 
and it should not be hard. I always say that though. No, it says easy two hours. So, I mean, really it's just four panels and then a hem. So as long as it fits, um, should be okay. And then this shirt, this shirt pattern is cute. 6527. I really like this one and I was like cuffs buttons buttonholes oh my gosh no but when I just did the buttonholes for the the shirt that will be coming in a video next week um I, I the buttonholes worked I like was able to pull it back far enough that or at a decent rate so they turned out fine so I might be figuring it out and I might end up doing that but I also was thinking um, maybe I want to do a short version to wear with my leggings during the summer, you know, capri shorts or even with these pants. I don't know if the legs are too loose to have, you know, this tunic type top, but there was another fabric that I really liked. And so I got the fabric to match the amount for the this shirt and then I will, um, if I have some left over, like if I decide to do the short sleeved and then have some left over, I will, um, maybe I can make a, like a tank top out of this other stuff. So um, that looks like this. Isn't that nice? And it as well is a nylon, I think it's a nylon crepe as well, but it's so pretty. It'll make a beautiful shirt, but maybe, I don't know, there's a lot here. I don't know. We'll have to see what it, it ends up being, but this is not going to go into my stash. This is going to stay out in the to be sewn right away pile. All right, the last little bit of fabric. Because I didn't use the one fabric, I got out my, from my stash um, for, for my Nomi pattern. Um, I got out this. This is from Fabric Mart, but this I bought probably, well, actually almost a year ago. And it is the nicest sweatshirt material. Let me show you the side. It's all cozy, warm on one side, and then it's this gray on the other. And I don't have any idea. I think I've already washed it, so I don't have the information about how much it costs or anything like that. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, I was I knew I was going to be using this. I was looking for the lining fabric, which I think if you saw my last week's video, I was looking for that at Joann's too and couldn't find any. Right at the end, I found this. Isn't it adorable? It's little alpacas and llamas. And it's a cotton jersey. So it should, um, you know, be okay for a lining for this. And the little, mm, sorry, the little legs and stuff on the alpacas, the lining um, is the same color of gray as my sweatshirt material. So, I think it is going to be an adorable lining. It's just so cute. I really like it. So yep, yeah, that's that's my last purchase. So um, as this has gotten to be a very long video, thank you very much if you've stuck with me through it all. <laughs> but um, thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who was watching today. Thank you to everybody who's been watching and commenting. I appreciate all of your comments. I appreciate um, all of your kindness and I cannot think of anything else to say. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your weekend and I hope everything goes well for you for the next week. Thank you. Bye.